So who was this lasagna for again? The wine trops. They uh, just had a baby. Oh, wasn't that the guy you designed the condom website for? Yeah. Which brand was that again? <laughs> I'm sure the kid was playing, Drew. <laughs> yeah, you used to think you were playing too. I married the wrong Wallace. <laughs> How is it you're still single? Because it's a way to a man's heart is through his stomach? No, I don't buy that. Women like food just as much as men. You know, if you could get a woman to actually taste your food, even you could get laid. It'd be nice to have another woman around here. I'm drowning in testosterone. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. You're saying Alan can do what now? Steve and Andrew think that women will magically jump into bed with Alan if he cooks for them. <laughs> Magic. I'll trade anybody a rock for a sheet. Dude, if I believe that for a second, I would start taking cooking classes. What, instead of showing them your collection of number one comic books? <laughs> How's that helped in getting the pussy? Getting the pussy. I don't need help getting the pussy. Really? I wouldn't have put it quite so eloquently, but... You kind of do. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it either. It's not like you're ugly. Well, he's certainly not good looking. <laughs> well, it runs in the family. Hey! Probably because they find out he collects comics and plays Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. That shouldn't matter. No, trust me, it matters. They say women just throw themselves at you when you get rich, but no. Look, all I'm saying is I agree with Steve, okay? Even Alan could lose his virginity if he just cooked for Not them. a virgin. All right, let's make a bet. Oh, no, no, seriously. On. You guys have been talking for years about how you want to take your dad's brew to the next level. Bobbert, that would take, like, thousands of dollars. $10,000. Fuck you, money bags. Like, we have that kind of money. It could be 10 to 1. You'd only need a grand. No. No, I'm, I'm not going to make a bet with you about how many women I can sleep with. Drew? Um, I think that I have a sheep I can trade you, dear. Ah. Mm. The yellowtail? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. A toast to the Allen roll. The Allen Roll. The Allen Roll. Thank you. Cheers. God, I love sushi. Rose, you're a woman. Ah, you noticed. Would you find a man who cooks attractive? Yes. Yes. Allen. There are three things that make a man sexy. One, he can sing. Two, he can cook. Three, and less important than the first two, he can actually just be sexy. Well, what if someone's all three? Oh, you stay away from those cheating bastards. <laughs> Have you even eaten anything other than your bread? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the, or... All right, no. No, I haven't. This is ridiculous, right? Oh, thank God, yes. I just said we should go here because everyone goes here. I have never tasted their food before. <laughs> I am so sorry. My last date wanted to come here, too. You want to get out of here? Excuse me? Back to my place. Oh. Oh, no. Um, I just, I, I want to make you some real food. You cook? Yeah. My dad was a chef. All right. OK. Let's go. All right. Uh, I can make chicken piccata or marsala. I've got lamb, steak. I'm a vegetarian. Vegetarian, uh, I, I can work with that. Okay, um... Oh. 
my god. See this? This is real food. I mean, there's no foam, no dry ice or anything deconstructed. It's just rice and mushrooms and, and maybe a little truffle oil or truffle salt. And, and it pairs perfectly with a Pinot Noir. Yeah. What? Rachel Ray? Oh, please do not tell me that you also say EVOO. What's wrong with that? It's better than saying extra virgin olive so oil. So just say olive oil. I mean, is there, well, who's <laughs> buying all this second press olive oil? Is there like a shortage of olive oil that I'm unaware of? When do people stop <laughs> buying extra virgin? Your dinner was amazing. Thank you. Uh, oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm so no, sorry. No, God, no, no, I'm it's sorry. Fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, no, that'll stain. Uh, let me get some club soda. 